I don't even know what to say. I don't, man. It was weird, you know, driving over the GW and like seeing the city for the first time and realizing I've been here a million times, but it's been almost two years since I've really been here, especially Yankee Stadium. And it was crazy, you know, kind of, it kind of got me going. I was like, wow, oh my God, I was nervous. But we made it, we're here. We're gonna meet up with Jose. We're gonna do a little behind the dish. We're gonna watch a little Yankee baseball. What better way to watch it than versus our arch? Well, I don't even know if you call them arch enemy. Some people think they are. It's Red Sox still for me, but you know, nobody likes them anyway. They still out two base things. So stay tuned, stay hungry. We'll try and get some stuff in before we get going. Do a little behind the dish, Yankee Stadium today. You're probably asking yourself how that intro turned into this day. And this guy is back. You see, we came, we thought we were gonna do an episode of Behind the Dish, and then it happened, baseball. We came to Yankee Stadium for the first time back in forever, and then we saw a bunch of friends, a great game, Yankees won, we couldn't walk away. So we're gonna do it again, and this time you'll see it. Behind the Dish, Ball Nine, the food guy, and this guy, Jose. Baseball. No trip to Yankee Stadium is complete without a traditional chicken bucket. And you can see Jose ate most of his already, but he subbed out garlic fries. I went with the smaller, more economical, calorie friendly, it's probably still like a thousand calories, garlic fry style, mini chicken bucket. No bucket. I'm gonna need more room. He said the milkshakes are back. I'm dying to see him. Hang in there. We'll see how this goes. Just wanted to give everybody a little cup date since the 2019 cups have run out. We have upgraded to the Garrett Cole home jerseys. So that looks like what we got today. The big cup got the Yankee logo. It's pretty sharp. No Nike on this thing now. Not bad. loud in here. I hope you can hear me. I'm sure you can, but this is the first game. Milk, look at Jose. Jose just always in the right place at the right time, scratching his belly, enjoying the game. But the milkshakes are back. The really fancy ones that come in the big cups that they overcharge for. I'm told this is the first week that they're back and we walk down here. Uh, section, eh, you know, 111 to get it. Uh, game's going great. Weather's going great. Day's going great. And we're just going to keep eating through the menu. Tell me the difference between want and need. Nobody needs this. <clears throat> Nobody needs that. But we wanted it because they were back. And I told you we were going to get in line. Jose, did you try this? Which one did you get? He's got little got cupcakes the, uh, on them. Celebration? I don't remember. Celebration. I got this Reese's peanut butter cup one. It's like funfetti something. It's got, it's got a caramel corn on it. You know I love caramel corn. Yankees still up in the game. $15.99 for these bad Yeah, but $15.99 for these bad boys. So you're going to break the bank, but we're going to keep diving through. Hopefully we'll get a win and a bellyache. Who knows? Finish my ice cream. I'm almost there. He's almost there. It's hot. It was a good day for ice cream. It's a good game. We're winning. 
You know, the thing about food at Yankee Stadium is that you don't really come here for the food. They got hot dogs. You come for chicken buckets. Those beef sandwiches you like, what are they called? LaBelle's. LaBelle's beef sandwich. They have sushi. They have wings. But you come for the people, the atmosphere, the game, and then some of the crazy stuff. So we're going to finish up this game, then we'll wrap this episode up. But we're just behind the dish out here in right center field. day it wasn't our first day back it was our second but the first time we just had too much fun i'll be honest we today we had too much fun we always have too much fun it's always fun because yankee stadium's not about the food there's food there but i'd get a hot dog walking into the stadium or a pretzel you'd be just as disappointed in the street for a quarter of the price but it's about people man yankee stadium's all about people always has been the people in the stands everybody you sit around great Luke Voigt threw us a foul ball today. We handed it to a little kid because it was his birthday. You know what that kid did? He gave it to his friend. So the moral of the story, I don't know. Go to Yankee Stadium, hang out with great people, have fun. That's this week's episode of Behind the Dish. Stay tuned, stay hungry, and I'll let Frank take us home. Hit it. If I can make it. Game over. Yankees win. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah.